As far as I can tell, it's not the Buddhist way to proselytize. This morning I woke up and I did something unusual for me. I listened to some Buddhist monks chanting with Moktak in Korea. And aside from my thinking that it's a little fast for my taste, it's something that quickly becomes part of your peaceful pattern in your mind and in your heart. When you begin the day with a Zen Buddhist approach, even if you're not consciously saying or committing to anything, you're reminded of what you've learned about it and what you know about it. And more starkly than before, everything that everyone else says to you is so much more obviously anchored in ego and everything that you say and feel in yourself, you recognize it there too. So I got into a conversation and I found myself defending myself. Now I'm ordinarily aware of how I'm defending myself unnecessarily. And it isn't just for yourself. You know you're doing it for the other person's benefit too because you're trying to show them where they're going wrong. And that's done to make more peace. It's not to win or to be right. But you still realize that it's wrapped up in ego. Basically everything that this other person said with whom I was speaking was so ensconced in ego which was the cause of all the fear and dissatisfaction in the person that it's enough to jolt you out of your Buddhist mindset and make you want to scream become a Buddhist damn it <laughs> because it really does change the way you think and see everything for the better and this brings me to my point appropriately with bells ringing And this is my point. When you realize how much sense and peace comes from the Zen Buddhist way, and you consider what's going on in the world today, 